Hello and welcome guys to this episode of Entropia Hunter. In today's video we will go over the topic of DPP, also known as damage per pack. So let's get started. So what is DPP, also known as damage per pack? Damage per pack measures the amount of damage a weapon does per pack. Basically it's Project Entropia dollars but in cents. To calculate DPP you divide the average damage of the weapon by the cost of use. High DPP means better efficient use of the weapon, leading to lower costs in hunting and combat activities. Good DPP helps players save pad when hunting mobs for a lower cost, allowing for more opportunities to attract good markup from mobs. Now here's an example on a mob with 400 HP. And you kill the mob with a DPP of 3.0. According to the numbers, it would cost you around 1.3 pad per kill. And let's say instead now you have 4.0 DPP. According to the numbers, you would get a 1 pad per kill. This means that there is a 0.30 pad difference between 3.0 DPP and 4.0 DPP for the same mob. This means that on a 1000 kill run, it would cost you 300 pad more when using the 3.0 DPP versus 4.0. And now let's show you an example in real time. We are currently using a program called Loot Nanny. It is a third party program that helps you track your hunting returns as well as DPP damage done by the weapon. Once you finish up setting up the weapon stats and the attachments in the Loot Nanny, we will proceed to attack a Kamaldo to see how higher DPP goes. Just a side note, I am using rings and a pet to buff my damage output, so my DPP will be higher than normal. An average player. And well, we got a Hoff. That was a surprise for this video, but we will take it. We will now speed up the video a few kills, so you can see the average DPP after that. As you can see after 5 kills, our DPP has stayed around 3.9. And now we will show you what the TPP difference is when we don't use our ring setup to get buffs. Okay, we will now reset the tracker so you can see what the TPP is with the new setup. As you can see with this setup, our DPP goes down to 3.3. Still not bad, but there is a significant change without the rings. One thing to know about high DPP, it does not guarantee higher TT returns. What it does do is have the cost of your kill be lowered to allow more kills to be cycled. It does not guarantee any markup or any chances of halves as well. And that is all for this introduction to DPP. Hope you guys find this information useful. Hope to see you guys in game. Till next time.